that peaceful crowd today had to jump in fear for their lives and subduing that truck with the help of law enforcement made sure the person who was trying to hurt peaceful protesters is in police custody and will be charged to the fullest extent that we can do. Shocking video today of a tanker truck driving through I-35 in Minneapolis as thousands of protesters marched peacefully on the closed interstate. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We continue to learn more about this incident, but there are a lot of unanswered questions at the moment. Our Cam Maria Bray joins us with more on this terrifying situation. Cam. Barrett, that shocking video has many people wondering how this truck got access to the highway when it was shut down by law enforcement to allow demonstrators to march safely. Here is the mugshot of the driver. He is an independent contractor for Keenan Advantage Tanker Company. On Sunday afternoon, thousands of protesters marched along the I-35W bridge in Minneapolis when a tanker truck drove through the crowd. Here is a video that you will only see on KTDC tonight, ground video as protesters try to stop the truck. When the truck stopped, demonstrators forced the man out of his car and attacked him. There are no injuries to protesters and the driver suffered minor injuries as well. The Department of Public Safety says it's working with the Department of Transportation to find out how the truck was able to get access to the highway. We spoke with a demonstrator who says he was only feet away from the truck. We were on the 35W bridge. Everything was going pretty peacefully um, until I looked up and I saw a semi um, charging towards everybody. Everybody started to run. And then I noticed people started throwing things at the semi to, uh, to get them to come to a complete stop. So I, I really don't understand what was in that driver's mind. We also heard from the Department of Public Safety Commissioner John Harrington on the incident. The driver was taken out of the truck by the protesters and he was then taken to Hanover County Medical Center, as I understand it, or to the closest available medical center for injuries sustained. While at the medical center, he is being taken into custody. Uh, the Minnesota State Patrol and the BCA are jointly investigating this case as a criminal matter. So the driver was released from the hospital and is now in police custody, but we do not know the charges that he's facing. Governor Walls is expected to have another briefing at 1030 tonight, which will carry live here on KTDC. So stay close here and online as things develop. For now, reporting in the studio, I'm Kamaria Bray, KTDC News.